my lovelies, how are you? Patricia Evans here. All right, so I wanted to let you know what I've been up to and how things have been going on with my hair. So I have gone three weeks with the weave and I, I took it out the last week. This is the last week and I took it out. I washed it. It wasn't very difficult for me. And then I did my wash day um, throughout the night and everything, washed it, everything was fine. And then I kind of left it in this little high bun. So I want to let you know that what I think of it. All right, so originally I said I wanted to do the uh, hair that was very close to my hair. And now I want to tell you why I changed my mind. But before I do that, let me welcome everybody who's new to my channel. This is Patricia Evans. I am considered the belly dancing minister. And on this channel, what we do is we unlock a woman's joy, body, mind, and spirit. But we start with the beauty of the hair from the inside out. So we deal with hair and beauty and health and all of that on this channel. But we always keep Jesus at the center of all that we do. So if that is something you're interested in being a part of, then welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed. You click the bell for notifications and you like the videos because it really helps me when you like and comment on my videos. And I love to hear how you're feeling, what you're thinking, what's going on with you. And I have a Facebook page that blends both of my channels together where we can still talk about any of these things, God, health, beauty, all of it, on Joy Seekers by Patricia Evans on Facebook. So go ahead and answer all the questions. Make sure you answer all of them or you'll be just sitting there waiting for me to allow you in if you miss any of the questions, okay? So I look forward to hanging out with you. I promise I'll definitely be over there welcoming everybody and getting our year started there. All right, just wanted to get that in. All right, back to what I'm talking about. So what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to show you what I'm up to with the weave, if I'm going to do it again, what's next. Okay, so this is the deal. I took out the weave. This is on it. I don't know if I put that in the description yet, but I will. I've had it since 2016 in the, the winter, and it's still very good hair. It's just that it started off very dry because I had it in a bag for so long. And the whole time that I had it in there, I had been trying to um, moisturize it. It ended up being more work than my own natural hair. So. While I love the idea of getting hair that's close to your texture and all that, like I did here, um, this in itself, in it, in it of itself, was straighter than the original hair I bought. So I bought this twice, as I said before, and it was kinkier because it was I thought it was more like my hair. But then that was so hard to manage, and I was pulling and tugging on my hair so much that I went back and bought this. So you would think that that's easier. Well, it mats so much, and it's so much work that I couldn't wait to take it out. It was pulling and tugging on my hair and I just couldn't take it. The first few days, like the first week, I could feel it on my scalp and it was irritating it. It was dry. I had to put synthetic hair in the braids, as you saw in my videos, so that I can keep my hair down. And that was irritating my hair too. But it got better as I washed it and I would wet it and I moisturized it often by wetting it and then I put some moisturizer in it and I tried to keep it moist. I didn't have a lot of problems with detangling because I hadn't had it in very long. I, I pray over everything I do and I walk in the spirit. If you want to know more about that, you can go into my other videos on Sundays at 2, Patricia Evans. But I prayed about it and what I think I'm going to be doing moving forward is three weeks of wearing my hair in the protective style. In the third week, I do what I did today, give it some air, take it out, and redo it within that week. So I'm about to put new hair back in my hair for this last week. And I went out one day, but I did cover it with a bonnet because it was still cold in this area when I went out working out. So that's what I plan on doing. I did not trim it, but it really does need a trim. So I may go one more time not trimming it, and I'll trim it the next time, which would be at the end of February. Um, the reason I'm not doing that is because I'm going to do a length check so at least I know how much it grew before I trim it. And I'm going to have to do one before I trim it and one after I trim it. Or maybe I'll do it just after. I don't know. But I think I'm going to do it next time because I'm just not in the mood for trimming still. But this was my new plan. I decided not to do weaving also because I didn't like, I couldn't get to my scalp enough. So now what I'm planning on doing is crocheting. So I looked up a lot of crocheting um, styles and hair and everything. And I still wanted that curly look. So, and but I found out that since crocheting has been a thing, there's been an easier way to crochet. So there's something called a, um, like a, you, you have like a latch or something to crochet with. 
and it's Saga Crochet, and it's 100% human hair. So it's a, a way to use human hair to crochet. Now, you know, human hair is much more um, silky, so it falls out. So this is a company that uses little clips, little, I don't know what you would call these, bands to crochet with. So if you don't know that about it already, then I'm glad that I'm able to tell you about it. Let me show you one individual one by itself. Let's see if this is the one I use. Okay, so this is what one would look like. I don't know if you can see that good. And so this one is a standard, but there are some that are already in a hoop like this and they're, it's connected. So I did my research and I found out that it seems like when it's made like this, you get less hair. So it makes sense to me that they would put a nice amount of hair on both sides and together that would be a nice full amount. So with the reviews, they were saying that it was very thin, it was breaking and all that stuff like that. So I thought, you know what? Well, the other one seems very nifty and cute where it's already a hook like this. What's the difference? It doesn't really matter. As long as it's there, it'll be its own hook. So I've never done this on my own. So I ordered a crocheting needle because I've never had this before. But I ordered this separately. But when I bought this from this company, Saga, and I heard so many good things about it on YouTube, it came with a bunch of stuff. So I bought two bundles. And by the way, look how straight this is, y'all. And this is supposed to be their extra curly. This is called super curly. So I'm aiming to get curly hair, but I think when I put this in my hair, it's going to be quite straight. I think it's going to be more wavy, but I'm ready for that. I'm a, I know I said do you get hair like your own hair. I need a break. So I'm happy that it's not as, as kinky as this hair because this has been so much work. And I just can't keep tugging on my natural hair. Okay. So I got 16 inches, it was 1B, so I want it to be a little lighter, but it's two bundles, we'll see how that works. And what I'm planning on doing is corn rolling back, and then I'm going to go ahead and crochet them in. And I won't be doing them on camera, but I just wanted to let you know what I was doing. And they, I found a technique to cover the front, and maybe I'll come back on on a different video and show you how I do that, okay? How I hide the crochets. I'll do that separately. Uh, when that comes. Once I get it all in my hair and I'm about to cover it, maybe I'll do a video specifically on that. But I wanted to let you know what I was doing next and what I was going to be doing for my protective styling journey from January to June. And this is the end of January. I am beginning my February uh, month. And I think that's all. Oh, I wanted to show you what came in the packet. It was so beautiful. I had two of the bundles and then they gave me this little cute little packet here. And, and it had, it literally had two of these in it, I think. I think they gave me two, unless I had one already. I think they gave me two of these crochet needles. So that means I didn't even have to um, buy one. And I just wanted to show you, just in case you get it yourself, so we could be on the same page. And then they gave me all this other stuff. So, sample conditioner, conditioner cleaner, jojoba, and chamomile. And this has argan oil. This is another conditioner cleanser. So this is good for the hair. And so then they give me the card <clears throat> that tells you more about them. And um, <clears throat> I guess this is the way to say what I thought about them. And this is for edges. Now I've been collecting, by the way, I've been collecting a lot of things that I don't use that in the natural hair community I know is used. I don't use these uh, little Edge. I don't do edges. I've always just brushed my little baby hairs a little bit. So I have this and guys, I just want to tell you something. I have a bunch of eyelashes that I just got because I bought some glue. Didn't work for me for the one woman show. And the guy wouldn't give me my money back, but he told me that I could pick anything else. So I kept getting all these eyelashes. So I have a lot of eyelashes. I have this and I think I have a few other things, a brush that I may not use. And I might do a contest and maybe give some of that stuff away. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in it. And if you're interested in seeing all the things that I have. And if you'd like to have that be a part of maybe our six month challenge. I'll give it away for anybody who sticks with it. And kind of gives me pictures on our Facebook book group. Which is Joy, Joy Seekers by Patricia Evans on Facebook. Okay. So let me know if you're interested in that. And getting something at the end of the six months. 
or you know anything like that and I can throw in something from my line of product as well if you're interested in that then we can go ahead and make that part of our thing give us something to look forward to I don't use those things so I would love to give it to somebody you would pay for the shipping and handling and I would definitely get it to you okay all right so you guys tell me what you want otherwise I just want to give you a heads up this is what I'll be doing in my upcoming videos, you'll be seeing my crocheting. I'm really excited. Pray for me. And by the time this video is out, I probably will already have it on in. But um, I'm just wanting to let make sure that you're going along with me. All right. So God bless you. Thank you so much for going along in this journey with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I will show you how I crocheted it and how it's looking and see what you think about it, how I've been taking care of it, and if I like it or not all right all right my lovelies i just wanted to come back on real quickly and let you see what i've already been working with so i've already put in the saga i've been wearing it for about two weeks already and this is what it's looking like now i am getting used to the fact that this is not super curly as you can see um and when i first got it it was a lot darker it was like this color it's very very dark and so I did use the uh, Clara Professionals um, Honey Blonde to kind of lighten it right in the front. You can see some of the lightning here. And, you know, I dyed my, my um, roots from the grays with my henna, so it kind of matches a little. I've been using um, Castor Oil in the front, and I've been using this. I don't want to use my gel, so I've been using the Kinky Curly Curling Custard for the front. Um, let me just tell you what I've done so far. I have um, I started off doing uh, putting in Extreme gel in it and I would wash it and then I put gel in it thinking that's how you should do it because that's what I would do with a wig a weave rather and a wig but because these are crochets and they separate so much all that did was make it separate even more and I was really not happy with it I noticed that it was too thin and I really couldn't finish up in here that's why it looks so thin and when it's wet it really looks thin so I ordered two more bundles and it would take two whole weeks for me to get the bundles so I've been waiting already, I think it's been a week, it's probably going to be two and a half weeks, so I have to wait until next week to get the other two bundles, and so I ended up having to put, buy four bundles, each one was about $49, and that's now where I'm at, like 200 and who knows how much, and so I've already, and then I ended up going and get another, um, some more hair, because I ended up putting some hair in the front, and I'll show you all of that in the next video. I, bought, I just bought some more hair that matched it to put in the front and then dyed it. So I couldn't wait for the other hair to dye it because it was driving me crazy. Then I started to trim it and cut it to shape it around my face some. And, you know, my husband says he thinks he looks nice and he loves it. And I'm starting to like it. I like bigger hair, but I feel led that, you know, this is great because this makes life easier for me to have it um, straighter. I know I'm not looking at you guys. I'm looking here because I'm getting used to having a monitor. So, yeah, so I like it. It's doable for now but it's not finished and I just wanted to let y'all see what it looked like. Now y'all, please don't laugh at me when I turn my head and show you the back because I am filling it in, okay? I promise you. But let me just show you. So right in here, it's very thin. I have to fill it in and I put a bobby pin right here just to kind of connect this back here. And you know, I did put a little something to make it feel. So because of COVID and I'm not going too many places, I was able to make it work but it's not where I want it to be. But the sad part is by the time I get the hair, it's probably going to be time to take it out. So anyway, I'm just going to be patient and I'm going to go ahead and wait for it. And my next video, God willing, I'll be able to share with you. I hope I'll be able to share with you um, it being a little fuller up in here. And, you know, I'll show you what I use, what hair I use to fill in the edges. Okay, so I hope you liked it. I wanted to at least show you all something. And that's what you've been seeing on the other channel, Patricia Evans, in my Tuesday classes when I'm dancing. And on Sunday, this is what you've been seeing. When it's wet, it looks very, very wet look. And when it gets dry, by the end of the day, it looks something like this. So I'm liking it. It's very cute. It's comfortable. Like I said, since I'm not going anywhere big, no one's kind of looking up in my hair, so they can't tell. What I learned, though, moving forward, is that I'm going to do a different curl. I've been learning more about the braid pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and do a smaller braids up in the front connect them and then go bigger in the back for the next time so my biggest thing is should I take this out and then get it done I'll wait just keep it like this for the next few weeks take it out and do it over with the two new bundles of hair 
I might do that so that, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to end up doing three weeks in, one week out, by the time I get the hair, I'll almost be done with my three weeks. <laughs> so I'll be thinking about what I'm going to do, and I'll let you know in the next video what I end up doing. But I just wanted y'all to see what I've been working with since the last weave. So I'm liking it. I'm going to just, I'm getting used to the fact that it's straight. And I like it. I think it's cute. So I'm, I've spent all this money, so I guess I have to keep it for a while until the next time, right? So my biggest thing with this, though, is how do I take this out? How do I get these, you know, you know, the rubber band thingies? How do you get that out? So I'm like, getting a little bit worried about that. But you can see, see how that, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that. Let me show you one of them. Yeah, you see that? I've got to like somehow get all of those out, you know, so and I want to reuse the hair and there's no videos on here with it. So I guess I'll have to be the video, right? <laughs> so when I do that, I'll definitely show, share it with you. So if you are wearing it, you know how to take it out. So comment below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you check it out, Patrice Evans, and our Sunday videos and our Tuesday videos. And make sure you're letting everybody know to come here to help me grow this channel too. And I have some health and fitness stuff that I want to share with you also. I've been getting some great recipes and I've been trying to eat better and all that. So I hope you're doing well too. I love you all so much. Talk to you later. Bye.